it must understand it. It must be simple. One of the don't play with the enemy with words. He'll destroy you. Don't even try him. It's a no contest. This is why I keep it simple. There are four simple phases or P or stages. I don't know what you want to call it. You call them what you're comfortable with. But you're going, there are going to be four moves in your life, four big moves. The move for the calling. I keep them. I like to keep them practical. The move for the calling is always to go in a different direction. You'll go in a different direction. It's always some way to come out of the world, come out of what you've been doing, come to get familiar with Christ. He never lets you get familiar with him without he wants to change something up about you. He wants to transform you. This is what that process is, is, is all about. Amen? So one, one, once he once once starts the transformation in, 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 in that process, you've got to know no transformation comes without some trials and some tribulation and so forth. You don't become that good, that simple. Amen? Perfect. So at, at that point, you've got to remember, you must remember you are justified. That's more important than what you're going, to, you're going through. Remembering you're justified is far more important than whatsoever is happening. That's just the game. You don't control the game. You can't control it. In fact, a lot of the temptation is for you to get to a place where you can control what? The game. The game. Mm-hmm. This you're is, familiar. You know what's yeah. good. You're good at it. I'll put you in a position you're in control. Yeah. No. 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 You gotta, there's, there's no faith in it necessary. You have to go through the process just depending on your justify. Right. And when you get to glory, you better have it. The best form of humility I have ever seen is thanksgiving. If you are grateful you are called, grateful you are transformed, grateful you are justified, you will have thanksgiving. Thanksgiving breeds humility. If I'm so grateful for what Sister Sharon done for me, you understand? I, I feel what? Indebted. If I don't feel grateful for what she has done for me, I get what? I mind it. Very simple. Right, gratitude. Gratitude keeps pride away from you. Mm-hmm. When you stop being grateful, you know, um, you are playing with great danger, mm-hmm. great, great danger, and so forth. So the attack of the calling is to go back to the world. Yeah. The attack of justification is obviously calling. Or if you can't get you back to the world, which is a kind of the world still. Some other kind of spirituality. <laughs> so, so the world, world. Yeah, no, so that is kind of the world, but it, 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 it's yeah, part of it. Like there's, there's a part of it. Yeah. You know, you yeah. go. Can remember? He's not stupid. The only thing you are called to transform is to Christ. You're not. God just don't call none of us for the sake of calling us. Like I just want to call Courtney. No, when he called Courtney, he wants to change his life. When he called Jessica, he wants to change. Mm-hmm. He's going to change you into Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know. So. When Satan realized, like, Satan don't care, you, you, you'd rather, you don't change period, just stay in your, like mud, but if you're going to change, you would rather give you what? Something. And this is what messed up a lot of people, like, they feel like it's time for their life and they want to be spiritual and something should change. You go, why don't we try some yoga? Something is different, you know. So, you know, you know, I, 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 you, you, know. Just, you just answered my other question. You, you know, so you have a kind of spirituality, right. but there's no power. Right no power. No power. No power. There's no yeah, change Jesus. coming about. Yeah, no. You see, yeah, yeah. And part of, and we need trick people so much. A lot of our good intended church earlier, the way they present Jesus. He's not presented right, so he's present more of a religion instead of a state to be transformed into. Mm-hmm. Perfect. You know, there's no potential religion. Yes. We all have to get. You have the Bible, huh? uh, yes, yes. yes. Go to Second Corinthians chapter um, four, I think. Okay. Or chapter three, um, where Paul said, "Are you guys alone, Jesus?" Is oh, the, is the oh, warfare? Yeah. Okay. No, I think it's, it's three. Not, it's not. Uh, it's um. It's ten. Bronco. Yes. Yeah. Ten, ten three. It's obvious fact, which is this is Second Corinthians ten seven. Look to this obvious fact, which is before your eyes. If anyone is confident that he is Christ, 
let him reflect and remind himself that even as he is Christ, so too are we. You're supposed to look to this fact. Once you have been called and transformed, mm -hmm. you have to get to the point that you know you're Christ. Mm -hmm. That he has taken over now. That you have been changing to him. So Paul was dealing with the church. He got, okay. You guys, if you have confidence you are Christ, then look at us and tell me if we are him too. Have we been transformed? They're talking about stage two here if you want to. I am very careful with it. I don't like doing this because this is the mind. The mind likes to label things. I like to <laughs> categorize things. I, it limits, it chops up life though. And I don't like doing this. I don't like stages and... I, I just don't. I like is. It's just is. You know, as you, as you, you operate more in the spirit, you'll find those, those things are in the mind. They're not part of the spirit. They're part of the mind, mental construct. But for, for the sake of conversation, or sometimes for the sake of teaching, to give the human mind that like things to God, and we create paths. Um, so Paul goes, if you guys, for lack of better terms, are in stage two, and have confidence, look at us and tell me if we are. You understand? Uh, Typically, and part of how you'll notice, it's our ability to embrace challenges. You understand? When you're in, when you're in stage two, let's call it, forgive me, Father, um, you do not really run from challenge. You get excited when challenge comes because you know it's a chance to what? Grow. It's a chance for you to bring forth and develop qualities you are on what? Familiar with. You're getting... <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. It's been 20 years and I'm still the same. Sometimes I feel so bad. I go, how many times have you passed through these things? Why is your attitude <laughs> not to that? <laughs> you know. See, I still got to get my character perfected in that. I, for, I don't know what it is for you. I feel I'm so, t like, I'm, I go through so many. Like, I don't get no period to regather my strength. Like, I want to rest. I want to break. But here's the funny thing. I go tell him, Pastor Chowder, as much as I'm not getting no rest, I'm getting stronger. But in my mind's eye, I'm going, we deserve a little period of <laughs> <laughs> But you don't get, no, you, no, it just goes from... Not if you want to die empty. Amen, amen, you know, so, um, yeah, if you, let's put it, let's call them phases, four phases, you know, um, four smears, you know, um, they are what they are, um, you are going to go through four transformation, but your goal is to get to where Pastor Jory, where you are confident to go like, I've been transformed into the Christ. Christ, you got to understand, when Jesus came here, he could have deal with just about, not just about, he could have deal with everything. Mm -hmm. What do you think he's training you for? To deal with everything. Yes. They're going to be situations. <coughs> there are many of us, there are things and situations happening around us and close to us, and some of it God can't put in our desk. Mm -hmm. Because we're not ready yet to what? We're still fighting him in on the call. We're not mm -hmm. passing through the transformation yet. So there's so much you're supposed to be able to deal with. He can't give to you. Anymore, right? You know, and so forth. This is why this is what Christ was doing, uh, dealing with when he looked. He got, look, the harvest is ready. Everything is ready to be what? Dealt with. Mm -hmm. But there are no what? Workers. Mm -hmm. He said there are very few who have been worked, like, like, like yeast in, in dough, who have processed, who can what? Deal with it. You know, we're always doing this. Praying to God to come and deal with it. And, and God is also doing one thing. Why don't you grow up so you can deal with it? Why will you release what I put in you so you can deal with it? This becomes the process. Amen? So, see, do we, so if, if we were to say the four stages, it's the calling, the transformation, the justification, justification and glorification. The glorification. So the, the attack against the calling is to call you somewhere else. Yeah. The attack against transformation is transform into something else. Yeah. Yes. You, you know. You, you can, see what I mean? Yeah. Be, so be, yeah, yeah stop being the Christ. Be the CEO. Be be Elvis Presley. Yeah. Or some some kind. Of, he, he, does, he, he can't get to that radical. Yeah. Something close. Close. You know, like um, yeah, Mahatma Gandhi. Um, yeah. Now it is they have a new thing, Scientology. It's a kind of spirituality. You know. You, you just, He's good at, a lot of times, you know, he can't move you radically. You're suspect. You're not that yeah. stupid again. We might be dumb, but we have some kind of, you know, <laughs> insight. He has to move you slightly. Yeah. You're kind of moving, you know, but, um, you know, you, you are doing a kind of spirituality, you know, and so forth. The attack against justification is obvious. Condemnation. So those three are opposites. The last one is not really opposite. The last one is like 
where are you giving the glory? Yes. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's not an opposite there. Because no. there's glory. There, yes. The attack is not shame. You're, you're in glory. Yep. yep. That's where will you attribute it. Yeah. This one is trying to make you fall just like him. It's pride he is trying to build. And as I said, the secret of that, that yeah. no, no, zero. No ceiling is glory. <laughs> yeah. um, the, the secret of that is gratitude. You, you must have gratitude. And the Bible said, Pastor Joe is teaching that message right now in church. Be on your guard. Every stage call for guard. Guardedness. Every stage. You must guard the calling. You must guard your transformation. If you think he's going to just sit back and let you become Jesus, you are dreaming. Because once you transform into that, issue begin. Jesus' disciples, this is where the word Christian comes from, they call little what? Little Christ. They're operating just like him. So if you think he's going to just sit back and let you become a little Christ, no way. not in this lifetime. If I was him, not a chance. <laughs> because then he has a whole lot more Jesus to what? To deal with. Mm -hmm. you understand? He fights every stage, but I believe one of the stages he fights the hardest is the transformation. Because this is where you are becoming seriously dangerous. So he'll attack that stage very, 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 very much. You better understand justification very well in that process. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. But he beats you because you yeah. can't see darkness. He defeats man because he's too limited. He's yes. not under, he's, you know, in Jeremiah, God said, who is as ignorant as my people? Yeah. We don't get it. You know, and we got to get clear on like, you know, on like what we're doing, understand what the calling is, understand yeah. why. I, I really encourage you guys, I really want you, you guys to spend some time understanding that Roman 8.28 to 32. Perfect. I meditate on it. Get four, you, you have to know inside out your call for a reason to be transformed, you're justified for glory. You know, because I, I, I see Christian does this. Oh, no matter what I do, I'm justified. And then I normally ask this question. Why? Oh, just because Jesus died. No, that's not why you're justified. No. You're justified for glory. Right. There's a reason to this justification. You know, this is almost like I want Brother Courtney to do something for me, and I go, and, and, and when I say it's my account, and I go, whatsoever he wants, give it to him. Yeah. There's a reason why I'm doing this. You know, because I have nothing better to do. Because it, he has some tasks to do, and I don't want nothing get in his way. It's a prerequisite. Yes. It's not an end. <laughs> Perfect. They, they treat it as this is the end. Yes. God just don't want to feel bad. Yeah. No, <laughs> not feeling bad is a setup. It's to a get to something. Yes. It's a prefix to get to something, you know. And yes, in fact, the Bible tells us this. Don't use this freedom for evil. So it's not something to just, you know, there. It's something to transition through. You know, and, and as Paul said, if you understand this, then you've got to ask the question. I can see why Paul said, what can we say to this? He gave up his son for us to accomplish this. How much more would we give? Believe me, once you catch this, you become, your mind change and you become focused and, you know, you become task-oriented. You, you, you know, different things come in your head at that point instead of a lot of the foolishness. You know, sharing with Sister Jing today, I was, I was cooking today and these are the things that goes through my mind. And I was thinking, in Genesis 2.15, the Bible said God made the earth and everything, and then he brought Adam, and he said this to Adam. He said, I want you to take care of it, tend it, and I want you to guard it, and I want you to keep it. So you're supposed to tend it, meaning taking care of it. Like my wife asked me to cook today, i got to take care of it, that's tend it. You understand? Um, um, but then also, I could cook the food, and you know, the, my, my children are... My, yes, my children already have so much of their friends, I can let them eat all. But I also know if, I, if she comes home, she won't be happy with it. So I have to what? Guard it. Guard it now. I have to put it in a way that, hey, you guys can't touch this, you know. And my, my daughter has the friend, I cook the pizza, I can't give away the dinner. You know, so I have to learn to guard it, to keep it for dinner. This is right. when it's for. Man was supposed to do the same thing with, with, with the earth. We see the same thing in John chapter 17, verse 15. Jesus said, I'm not praying for you to take them out of the world, but I'm praying for you to what? Protect them from the evil one. So they, they, there's a great emphasis all the time on protection, protection, protection. You know, and I was, the Lord was administering this. This to say, remember this. You have to get protected. You have to operate in the protection and teach them how to operate in protection. And then I remember e e Ecclesiastes 7:12. The Bible said, "Wisdom is a defense. If you have wisdom, this is exactly what we're talking about. Eh? How do we defend against these four 
interface. Everyone that's called, these are the call out ones, have to respond to these four one phases. You understand? You can be a faithful and that, and yeah, that's a whole different story. I don't want to go there for that. Forget about that. Um, um, you, you know, and, 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 and um, sometimes the light just coming, you got to close that part of the mind out. So we need to operate in, 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 in this protection and understanding every phase you're going to need protection as you transition. So as I'm looking at the Ecclesiastic, and the Lord said wisdom is a defense and finance is a defense. So the Lord, you know, the Lord says, third to me, your son, if you want, as our kingdom is supposed to do, to help the people, you, understand? you must continue to grow in godly wisdom and give them godly wisdom. The reason they can't defend these four ways, you understand? they're lacking God what? Godly wisdom. What we're talking today is godly wisdom. How to, you, is the very message he was talking to me about today. He said, if they have godly wisdom, they'll respond to the four phases appropriately. Mm. Appropriately. You, you understand? And, and, and the enemy loves to tempt them with material things in the world. Because if they have the finance, if I say money is a defense, they won't be doing the things they're doing. So you tempt them because they don't have the resource or they don't have what? The wisdom. And the reason they don't have the resource is because they don't have the what? Wisdom to get it. Yeah. You know, so once you understand this, you go, as I was telling Sister Jing, I go, we must keep growing in wisdom and resource to help them along these, these four, and ourselves along these four phases. Or that you always will die for lack of knowledge. It is mm -hmm. imperative. Amen? Amen. Um, I don't know about but some of you, but I grew up in church. Yeah. And I never was grown up the purpose God called us to Christ was to change into Christ. I was grown up to worship Christ. That's all I do. Don't have to change into Him. Mm -hmm. He can stay where He is. I stay where I am. And, and I worship Him. And that's it. We don't need to go you know, I, I, I grew up all, like I'm great more than half, almost half my life. That's, that's my, that's, that's, that's the theology. Yeah. That's what I thought. He's in heaven, I'm on earth, I have to give him praise. And that's it. That's it. At the end of the day, he, he takes care of me, yeah. I'm on earth. You know, it's not <laughs> completely different when that's I learn the truth. truth. You know, like, that's he's true. going like, no, that's not what I taught. Mm -hmm. I want you to be transformed. You know, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it's just a different. And, and this is why, this is why some of the people, the, the church is one of the major entity that is called, but not necessarily what? Transforming. This is why Dr. Mao said, there are a bunch of holy sissies. Why are they holy sissies? They're not getting to glory. They know they're called. They're absolutely clear on that. They go, we are called. Ask them why. Called out to what? Ask them what? To what? They go, but we worship Jesus. But even some people that are not, even the faithful worship Jesus. Even the faithful, the elect also worship Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, you know. There is a verb, um, the Proverbs like 16, somewhere, all I remember like all this discussion, what is the verb like, uh, even though I plan my way, he's going to lead us there to our way? Yes, yes, Proverbs pro 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 16. Yeah, um, eight or nine, nine so yeah, yeah. Many are the plans in a man's heart. Yeah, but that's like Lord. all I'm thinking is that one, so yeah. I like, thank God, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, that, even though I'm going to... That's for the caller. Yeah. 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 Because you got your own plan. I got my own um, call. I think I still, you know, I get you know, that guy is going to It is very true, you know, and that's all we were doing, you know, and, and it, it's why we not, Jesus said, he get glory through us, so we have to get to the level to get glory. But you have not get no glory because we don't know why we're called. We're like, we kind of act in a party. I'm called, I'm called. Are you called? I'm called. To, you're called? 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 you are called how are you going to find the truth if you can't get to what? Spirit. How can you tell? Everything else is transition and change it. Only the spirit is what? Constant. So anytime I'm not in the spirit, I'm not in what? The constant. I'm in the change. Everything is changing. You know, so may the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus. We'll make it. We'll make it. Please help people do our own. transform, justify for glory. Amen. That's going to be my bumper sticker. <laughs> you should. That's what I do. You got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta write it, you know, and then put it like on the ball. What should be my response? Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you know?
I, I like that. Couple. The Lord, the Lord, they were Amen. all to transform, justify for glory. Yeah. If you get those two sentences, yeah. you can't help but show. Amen. Hallelujah. You know what I mean? Because you're becoming the greatest, most invincible, yes. most powerful, most dominant. I believe it's when worship becomes sweet and <laughs> practical. Before then, it's, it's ritual. You, you don't really have a, a main focus why you worship with so intensity. You know, this is why, and this is why they turn out to make religion. So you see some people in the church, they're running around. They have a reason why they're running around. Then others do not understand why they're running around. They go, I want to run around too. I love that. <laughs> why are you running around? <laughs> I'm <don't> running around. <laughs> I guess why he's running around. I know what he knows. Mm -hmm. But I don't get why you're running around. You know. And he's on the other path. <laughs> 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 I'm going to go down with him. Maybe they'll go. I'm running away from my crisis. <laughs> exactly. I got a temporary release from my crisis. This feels great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but when I leave those doors, I'm going right back. <laughs> the church is called to worship. They were justified to go to heaven. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. They miss the, the transformation and the glory. They get, the church gets the called and the justified. They don't just get, but they don't get why. Amen. Do you see what I'm saying? Amen. Yeah. It, it is very, believe me, each one of you going to do amazing things in this world, and you're called to do it, but not as you are. You're mm -hmm. called to do it, to be changed. Mm -hmm. in the, the, Bible, the Bible said in 1 Corinthians 15, everyone shall be change and in a twinkle of a eye. What make a lot of us can't do certain things? No changes took place. You're you're trying to do it from our human ability. You can't. It's not designed that way. You are designed to do it when you have been changed. Amen. You know when you change think we think of when we are baby and we are trying to do all the things we do now. That's when we are babies and we want to drive a car and we want to cook on the stove and we want to go to the mall. You no, know, you'll kill yourself and stuff like that. But when you are changed, you can what? Do it. This is why Paul said, when I was a child, I think like a child. child. You understand? And I reason like a child. But when I when I've been changed, you put away childish. Once you're changed, you'll stop the foolishness. You will start, you become glory oriented. Glory oriented. Everything you do somehow flow around 